Hi, this is a tutorial on how to use Vnaf Engine Pro. Today I'm going to show you how to create, load and close a project, and show you the game info the editor. First thing, you'll need to know the basics of Vnaf Engine Pro. Um, with this button you can actually create a project. With this you can actually open the, um, an existing one. And with this you can actually close one. Let's create a project for this tutorial, and I will call this um, this project um, Enough at example. Um, this is the game info editor. It's uh, basically where you set the title, the D of your game, but I'm gonna explain all of this. Um, first thing, uh, game title is pretty self explanatory. You can actually type in this your um, Five Nights at game title. You can shape it here the title of your game. For this example, I'm gonna for this tutorial, I'm gonna put five nights at example. The game ID is a thing that the engine uses to save data. And I recommend to put something short. Um, in this case, I will put five nights at example, but you know, only the first letters. Here, uh, in the future, we'll actually be able to change the resolution. And with this check, you can actually make the game full screen or not. We can move now on to the static effects. Um, the static effects are the things that uh, appears on the menus, and we have two types. In FNAF Engine Pro, you can actually have two types of static effects. The first one is the one that we find in FNAF 1 and FNAF 2. And I'm gonna select this. The second one is basically the FNAF 3 one with the green bars all over the screens. And yeah, that's it. With the effect opacity, we actually change the opacity of the static effect. The effect opacity is used by the engine to control how much static effect you want in your menu. You can actually have some additional effects. Uh, you can actually vary the color of the static effects, or you can actually make a VHS effect. Here, you can actually set the limit of the FPS to your game. Mine is currently 5. I will put that to around 60. Um, but you can go above um, above 60 up to 120 FPS, which is the max that the game can actually output. And that's just it. You can actually use even the FNAF 6 settings. Um, and yeah, that's it. Now I want to close this project. To do that is pretty easy. You can just click on this Ben icon. And voila! Now the project is closed. The engine will ask you to create or reload the project. If you want to reload the project again, you can actually click this folder icon. It will open a selection of the it will open a folder selection. And here you can actually go to your um project. And here you can actually go to the folder when your project is saved. Open the folder pro with Open the folder with the project name and click on Select Cartel. And as you can see, as soon as it's loaded, as soon as I loaded the project back, or the configuration I typed in back early in this tutorial actually loaded the back. This is how to use FNAF Engine Pro Part One, made by Blocky, um, in Italy. Time is. Thumbs up.